and they're really the only infantry ooh grenade going off no micro from blitz that's gonna kill one man and seriously injure the squad but the reason you don't want them to get that is because or to get their shreks that is is because american squads have excellent accuracy with the panzer shreks and the panzer shrek is really the only american handheld at that does both a lot of damage and a lot of penetration uh, bazookas do a lot of damage but they're terrible at penetrating tanks Recoilless rifles, on the other on the other hand, do terrible damage but have fairly good penetration. So it's really a difficult situation for the American player, handheld AT wise, and you're just making it easy for him by giving him a Shrek to work with. This Grand Squad might go down. Whoa, crazy like ones. Uh, but everyone's all right. They'll keep playing. Two men down on this squad. These Rangers staying alive, thanks solely to this forward barracks. But they might get focused on like actually probably going to survive nine infantry kills right here. And yep, the combination of the M8, the Sherman, and then the reinforcement slash healing of this forward barracks gonna keep them in there. Also shooting the medics. Good job by Joe. Also harassing on the top. Also a good job. And what did Blitz spend his money on? Oh, he spent his money on tier four, and he's getting a huh. He's getting a panther first, which is interesting because Joe has only built the one Sherman. He did OP the fuel point and has, if we look over at him, an insane 195 fuel right now. However, oh, he is getting a second Sherman, all right. So the, the weapon support center, however, did go down. Still no triage center in the base. I don't believe that was killed by the Blitz already. I don't think he just, I actually just don't think he built one. Let's see, this panther actually going to be a pretty good choice, and it is an accomplished panther, so we won't need to buy any back for it. These rangers are running in here, sniper picking off, going to take out the pack, and that's good because now Joe going to be able to move in with all his vehicles. Attrition, oh no, Joe, don't do this to me, why would you pop attrition? Oh, that makes me very sad. But good job using those snipers to keep his, excuse me using the sniper to keep his vehicle safe and snipe this pack that was a very good job by him up top blitz trying to take back some points also has these low health storms in the middle of that two now on this sherman and the panther's going to start going to town on the sherman however joe does have an at gun somewhere or he did have an at gun somewhere where's the at gun another sherman on the field now oh, i guess he doesn't have an at gun maybe he lost it yep there he is right now he's probably going to recruit it right here recruit it no, he's just going to run by it. Oh, no, he is going to recruit. Good choice. Does he have stickies? If he doesn't have stickies, he's going to want stickies. He's actually getting the Sherman up gun, and here's the attrition rifle squad. And, oh, he won't kick. That's sweet of him. But the up gun for the Sherman, good choice. It's usually a good idea to get the Sherman up gun. Ooh, that's already gone off. In it's usually a good idea to get the Sherman up gun when you have two Shermans. And you're up against Vermont tier 4. Ooh, is this one Sherman going to go down? Or that two Sherman might actually die. He's going to have to back it up. Back it up, back it up. And get it to these repair or these advanced defenses engineers. Ah, oh, this Sherman, or this Panther going to run right into the AT gun. Probably going to try to flank past it. And he does kill the Sherman. However, this AT gun has popped AP rounds. And he only does get one AP round shell off, however. So that was a good, good play by Blitz right there. He actually might take out this AT gun, but probably not. He's just going to run out of there. Be happy with the damage he has inflicted. That was definitely, definitely worth it. A little bit more damage caused by that Panther, and he's going to have paid for himself easily. Joe trying to push for the middle. If you look at the VPs right now, 162 for Joe and 419 for Blitz. Joe definitely needs those VPs sooner rather than later, especially considering the strength of the Wehrmacht army does lay, lie in the late game. Another M8 mine going down right here. Good use of M8 mines by Joe. And he's, this, this one's actually going to probably hit that Vox. Oh, that's too bad. 50 manpower spent on one man in one Vox squad. This pack is going to reposition, and is it going to get a shot off? It's going to get a shot off, and this M8 might actually finally die. I don't think Joe is paying attention, and is he going to die? Is he going to make a way? No, it does die. That's too bad. Point blank from the from the pack, and now the Sherman's going to... Oh, no. Yes, it does go down. So, just like that, Joe went from being in a dominant position 
to if we look at his units right here he has one sniper with 22 kills now so good good sniper use blitz really needs a counter sniper which i'm surprised he hasn't gotten and joe also with only two rifle squads a ranger that he hasn't moved from this area oh, just looking at it right now last aftershock barrage going off oh look at this oh no <laughs> And just to add insult to injury, Joe's comments already sucks, and that is because it did one shot that sniper randomly. And that was too bad, but it did give us the cool inside look of this church, which is very interesting. But anyways, Blitz in a good spot at this point in the game. VP is ticking down precariously low. He does have tier 4. Wouldn't be surprised to see him get something else out of tier 4. He is building something, probably an Ostwin. No, Knight's Cross Holders. That is very strange. Look at all the manpower that he has. Is he going to get? I hope he gets a Tiger. I do not see. I haven't seen a Tiger. Maybe. I've seen a Tiger. It would be very fun. Camel Ranger is coming in the middle. I don't think Blitz sees this. This could be very bad. These Grens are going to go down. Are they going to retreat in time? No, they're not. So the Grens go down. And that's at least going to give Joe a bit of a fighting chance. As we look at Blitz's army right now. Two vet, two Grens. Vet two on his Knight's Cross. And not much else aside from that. He does have his Panther. However, there aren't any more tanks on the field because the tanks were all massacred. However, there is an upgrade, I think. No, Sticky Bombs. Why is he getting Sticky Bombs? Oh, I guess for the Panther. I guess that's a good choice. He still hasn't gotten bars, but I guess... No, he does have bars. Never mind. I missed the bars earlier. Going around and repairing all his base buildings with his... With his engineers after those Aftershock barrages. And look at this. All VPs capped for Blitz. And he has a commanding hold on the map sending Shrek Grins down probably going to finally see this OP I actually don't think actually no he did get the OP earlier he is probably going to take out this OP fairly quickly unless Joe can react Joe of course not, without much in the way of infantry support only three fighting in infantry squads really they are going to take out this Knights Crossholder squad fairly e easily however and Knights Crossholders give boatloads of veterancy they're really not worth it in my opinion Vet 3 Grens can do the same thing as Knights Crossholders and don't give ridiculous amounts of vet like Knights Crossholders do. Good job by, by by Blitz running over some of these rifles with his Panther. However, he did run right into the rifles when the supply yard, or the, not the supply yard, the sticky bomb upgrade finished so he could get sticky and he's going to lose his Panther. And this is a big blow at least for for Blitz and it's because that was his main tech investment this game. That's a very, very hefty investment. So much floating. Oh my goodness, build something good. And if I look over and see Blitz doing the same thing, I will cry. Look at this, oh my goodness. 500, is this fun now? This guy's gonna be like, Rangers finish it off. If Rangers could get Vet, they would probably be at Vet 2 right now, but uh, unfortunately they cannot. And yeah, Joe really needs to capture something and do it quickly because the VPs are now down to 41 and he is capturing the middle. Oh, look at that. That's cool. Crazy lighting effects. And something going down. Blitz and Flare. Flare and Artie, rather, on the base. So that's fun. How much vision does that? Look at that. Blitz can... Is that right? No. Okay. Let's turn the Fog of War on. Look at what Blitz can see. Blitz can see... The entirety of the base, he put the flare way over here for some reason, or maybe that's just where the replay shows it, but he can see the entirety of the base. Yeah, he must have put it like right here. And yeah, that's completely balanced, no worries. Joe desperately trying to ninja cap back the VPs. If we look at Joe's field of vision, he sees almost nothing. What is this? You're probably going to try to run in the base and maybe snipe the building, but that doesn't work, they get revealed. And these Grens do manage to take down the OP and decap point which is impressive these rangers of course able to capture this this vp right here and that's going to halt the decline of joe's vps at least for now oh no aftershock barrage goes down kills an entire rifle squad so that's going to put joe down two rifle squads he must have built a third one so that's down to two rifle squads a a ranger squad and two engineers and turning fog of war back off and going over to blitz's side two knights cross holders two vet two grens three pyos and a stormtrooper squad i don't know what he's waiting for to spend all this manpower on he's getting another knights cross holder squad 
and he really needs to get some sort of tank. If he got an Oswald right now, I think it would pay for itself easily. Even getting a a Panzer IV and that one, even if he gets an Oswald, really should get that one on that as well. Knights Cross Holders popping out of the Panzer Command, and these Vet two rifles are in decent cover, so they're probably not going to have too much trouble against these Knights Cross Holders, considering Knights Cross Holders aren't that close, and these piles might have been getting focused down, and they retreat and cancel that bunker. These base buildings are going to be fine. Finally, a trio center. Yay, trio center. A few minutes late, however, in my opinion, at least. Rifle squads capping back the left-hand side, and Blitz really not with much in the way of infantry power. He does have a lot of nice cross holders, but I really would rather see him get Vet 3. Look at all the resources he's playing. Get Vet 3. Get a bunch of grenadiers and just run around blowing the American player's face because there's nothing the American player can do at this point. I mean, he could get some more Shermans, but that's risky considering all the Shreks on the field. He should really pop a health pack on that Stormtrooper squad. Pops health pack on these. Oh, is this squad? This squad is so going to die. Pops health packs on the nice cross holders, which is a good play. These rifles get so lucky. And are going to be able to retreat these grands in the middle. Going to have to retreat as well. He might actually try to focus. No, he's just going away. Good choice by him. These, these, um, ooh, bundle grenade. Is it a bundle grenade? Yes, it's a bundle grenade. Oh my goodness. Entire ranger squad does go down. And yeah, that was painful to watch for Joe. He does, however, have a decent. Decent rifleman force. No, he doesn't. He only has three, and only one of them with any significant amount of veterancy. So Blitz going to be recapping the VPs. However, Joe has been doing a good job spreading his units out and has capped back a decent portion of the map, almost back to 50/50 resource.